The next case is a case of a 17-year-old high school soccer player who is presenting with complaint of knee pain since the age of 14. The patient states initially he was diagnosed with a groin pain. Subsequently, an MRI confirmed the diagnosis of osteochondriasis desiccans. He initially had surgery of the left knee over a year ago, followed by an arthroscopy and surgery on the right knee about two months ago. The right knee continues to swell and ache on a day-to-day basis. His past medical history is otherwise unremarkable. Despite the knee discomfort, the patient continues playing soccer. This is typically seen in the young males. Osteochondriasis desiccans is an entity seen at the ossification centers of the bone. These areas are responsible for the development of the new bone. The osteochondriasis desiccan mostly develops in the knee joint. Sometimes a fragment of cartilage separates from the joint surface. The cause is uncertain but trauma and ischemia have been explained to the etiology or cause of the osteochondriasis desiccans. Certain part of the joints, specifically the cartilage, is a poor blood supply and it is prone to ischemia. Ischemia is a condition in which blood flow, or therefore the oxygen, is restricted to the part of the body. This could lead to the necrosis. Necrosis means the death of the tissue inside the body. Common symptoms are pain and swelling of the joint. The MRI is helpful in the diagnosis. Treatment should be directed toward increase of the blood flow by means of angiogenesis. Angiogenesis means production of new blood vessels.